Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how the owner will manage bookings when a deposit fee will be charged. I will quickly show how the admin will add the deposit fee in team options. So I will go to VP Rentals options. I will go to payments and submit booking payment options and here the admin will add the deposit fee and if the admin wants to charge the owner for each booking made in his domain a service fee can be added as well payments to owners are not supported by vp rentals team so the deposit fee amount will go to the admin account and all the payments to the owner will need to be managed outside the team i am now logged in as a guest and i will place a new booking i will select check in check out i will select the number of guests and i will place the booking these bookings will now be visible in guest user dashboard you will need to open user dashboard and go to my reservation section here all bookings will have request pending and the owner first will need to issue invoice. Now I will log in as an owner and show how the owner will manage these booking requests. I am now logged in as an owner and I will find all bookings in the user dashboard bookings. Here I have all the bookings that the guest sent with status pending. If I want to approve the booking, I will issue invoice. When the issue invoice button is pressed, the owner will see all booking details like period, number of guests and other details. For this booking, I will press reject booking request. You will have this notice. The booking was rejected and removed from the booking list and the guest will receive a notification that his booking was rejected. I will start now with the next scenario when the owner will issue the invoice. At this point the owner will be able to add manually extra expenses to the invoice or add a discount value. I will press send invoice. I will refresh the page to see the new booking status. The status is now invoice issued. The booking will become confirmed once the guest will make the payment for the deposit fee. At this point, the owner can delete the invoice and make another issue or the booking request can be rejected. I will show how the delete invoice button works. I will press the delete invoice button. I will refresh the page. I have now the issue invoice button again and the status went back to pending. I will click issue invoice. If I want, I can add a discount. You can see it here and send the invoice again. I will refresh the page. And the next step is to go to the guest account and make the payment for this booking. I am now logged in as a guest. You can see that the booking has waiting status and the green button has invoice created, check and pay. For the booking to be confirmed, the guest will need to pay for the deposit fee. In the invoice, the guest will see all details for the payment. I will use Stripe to make the payment. The deposit fee amount will go to admin. The payment for the deposit fee was made. You can see that now the status of the booking is confirmed. The guest cannot cancel the booking once the booking is confirmed the guest will be able to pay the invoice in full and the amount will go to the admin as well i will go now back to the owner account and show how the confirmed booking will look in owner dashboard in owner dashboard the booking has now status confirmed not fully paid this means that the guest only paid for the deposit fee, the owner can cancel the booking and in this case the guest will receive a notification and the admin will see this invoice as being cancelled and the amount paid will need to be refunded by the admin. For the full payment, the owner will have the option to send the reminder emails manually by pressing this button. There will be three emails sent from this button and the last one will be sent automatically with three days before the booking period will start. For the final step, I will go to the guest account and pay the booking in full. From the guest account, I will press pay invoice in full. 
I will pay with Stripe. The payment was successful. You can see the new status confirmed and paid. This means that the booking is fully paid. From the owner dashboard, you will see the same status confirmed and fully paid. And you will have the option to view details or cancel booking. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.